one is it? <laughs> well, well, I am. I don't know if you're ready, but I am ready for Cheshire at ten. We just come off an amazing conversation that we have in the mornings at eight about who are you becoming. Who are you becoming? <laughs> I am becoming <laughs> uh, massaged. That's who I'm becoming. Haburiya Subuhi Dada. It's actually not that cold, so I can take that fader off. I might keep socks on for a sec. So, I'm not trying to kill y'all. Haburiya asubuhi dada. Check my bad self. Check my bad self. Swahili, in there. Yeah. I'm not trying to kill myself. <laughs> Before. <laughs> right, it was the best. Oh, hello, Dougie. You wanna um chase a bone hole with me? Yes. No? Okay. Leave. Um, yeah, I'm not trying to kill myself at this moment. It's Ches Rojo. So I am trying to make sure my body's not going to do an oops. An oops, Vicky. So get your foam rollers out. And literally, even if you just foam roll, uh, if we, if I, disclaimer, uh, just foam roll and stretch. And sort out our joints. I was taught last on Friday. I was talking about let's do some kicking and punching. Hills to the no, because I'm not trying to kill myself. I'm trying to get to 180. So, so, what am I talking about? 120. Sorry, darlings. 120 years old. Right, mate. 120 years old. Um, so I need to be able to cheddar for that long. Right, oh, thank you. <laughs> right, you need to move. You really do. My dog's called Vader as well. <laughs> so, foam rollers, okay? We are going to concentrate on getting the mech of power in our bodies nice and ready for some stuff that's about to go down in just less than an hour. So, foam roll, get this puppy on your bum bum because these two muscles that keep you walking around. Go rising, sis. Um, they're gonna be working hard, I'm pretty sure. Why are you licking my weights, fam? Dogs are so weird. <laughs> okay, I haven't actually pre-foam rolled at all. There's no morning pre-roll this morning. Um, I woke up late. I never wake up this late. If I wake up, if I have more than seven hours sleep, I wake up with bags under my eyes, which is so weird, right? Why would that? I mean, I guess that's my limit. Seven hours is what my body needs, and then I just need to get the hell up. So, what I'm saying, all this lower body parts, take extra care, extra care. Get the foam rollers. I know my calves are a bit tight, actually. I didn't actually foam roll yesterday, and I can tell. My calves are a bit tight. You've probably got a really nice um, routine of your own by now for sorting your body out. You know where your little, little niggles are. I know my weak points are my knees and my shoulders, which is annoying, but at least it's not my hips, right? At least it's not my hips. I would cry if it was my hips. But it's all right, it's cool. Dude, back her off, will ya? He's waiting for my son. My son is the one that um, feeds him. I'm gonna start again. I'm gonna go back to my butt. Grand rising, beautiful. I'm gonna go back to my butt and I'm gonna work my way all the way down again. And I'm gonna switch to the side a bit and get that bit that's technically called your side butt. Yeah, technical terms, you know. Kai, that's 
it's uh, slightly interesting. Ugh, I think I found a bit. So yeah, I'm, I think I'm gonna sweat a lot at 10 o'clock with Chesa, in Chesa Rojo when we play with spirit and literally remember the future. Oh, I am loving that right now. I'm loving that. It's amazing. It's the most mind-blowing concept, but it makes so much sense. It makes so much sense. Um, I'm just glad I could teach my kids this. It's not something you're supposed to learn at 43 years old. You're supposed to know this already. So that when you're 43, you're literally freaking transcending and levitating around the place, isn't it? Right, back to my um, hamstrings again. Most deaf, I am not taking any chances. There was this one time, I chested so hard. I'm not even kidding. Like me, with all my, oh yeah, I'm so fit, blah, blah, blah. I chested too hard, I'm gonna hurt my damn self. What's that about? <laughs> That's silly, but you know, no regrets. I, I don't regret anything. I don't regret anything. Because if you're paying attention, you've always learned something. And I learned that <laughs> if I don't look after my knees, I'm not gonna be able to walk. <laughs> And that's a fact, and you can take that to the bank. Ugh. Oh, talking about banks, my husband is planning his love service that will be talking about what the is money? What is it anyway? And how do we use it best to create our new normal and our heaven? about all this group economic stuff. It's a very exciting, very exciting times. You know that bit in the Matrix where it's like, very exciting times. That's how I feel. Literally, very exciting times. The conversation we had yesterday, the conversation, <laughs> it's like the conversation we had yesterday, the conversation we had the day before that, the conversation we had the day before that, and that, and that. Literally, definitely someone has to take minutes because and I started taking uh, notes as well. And then I, I forgot, because I was just into the conversation and then I was cooking, but whatever. Okay, I've done all this bit. I'm gonna do the front bit now. Cause I ain't taking no chances up in here. Do you know what, should I turn the music off? Stupid. Wah, wah, wah. Yeah, I'm not taking any chances. Um, as I go along my life, I understand my limits. <laughs> and some of my limits include my joints. But that's okay. So, what's everybody doing this week then? Apart from manifesting the shit out of some amazing stuff. Apart from that. Apart from you just doing that. That's fair enough, to be fair. So as I am um, doing my thighs, I'm using my arms to move me backwards and forwards, but also my core. I don't want to put everything, my whole body weight onto this part. So you can actually engage your core and move yourself forward that way. So I didn't even use my arms then. Okay, now I do that because these are a bit delicate. Don't forget you're technically called side leg. <laughs> Don't forget your side leg, y'all. So I'm doing the front of my thighs and then I'm just slightly moving to... Oh, I can feel the muscle moving around as well. It's a bit weird. Yes, manifesting. What level? What level of manifesting? Like, God level. <sighs> Why not? We're actually not beginners anymore. We're still probably at like level zero, but, and that's, you know, play on words, if you know what I meant. If you know, you know <laughs> about being at zero. But um, yeah, we're getting there, aren't we? I think we're, we're good students and we're getting there because we're paying attention. So now I've moved on to this bit here. And I'm just facing you guys because it's easier. So I stand a lot of the day. I don't sit down at a desk or anything because it's just too uncomfortable for me. 
and it's bad anyway and like literally you're just sitting on the floor cross-legged or sitting, sitting, sitting somewhere cross-legged it's not sitting is amazingly bad for you I'm gonna swap sides my side leg actually turn 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 that way <sighs> right um it's good that we've got a full hour <sighs> hey beautiful how you doing so my today is not going to be particularly exciting because i was just about to say it's good we've got like almost a full hour to sort out this before chairs are over so i'm not going to be doing any crazy kicking punching i'm doing this bit now okay um, or crazy cardio. <laughs> I'm just trying to take, keep my. Uh, I need to save something. So what you have to do now, my baby? Okay, if you had your water, it's on the table. Water fruit drops. Yay! <laughs> Ooh, some heated discussion going on out there. That's interesting. My husband was up before me. Yeah, God levels. Practicing back to practicing being back to zero, which sounds kind of like counterintuitive, but yeah, zero is where you're supposed to be. To be fair, yeah, yeah. Um, husband's being up earlier than me. Now, um, I'm gonna kind of straddle the roller because we've done. I've done here. I've done my side leg. I've done my side butt, and this is like in between side leg butt hip. Technical term. And I want to get in here as well, because this often gets overlooked, but, become, but can be quite tight. I mean, if we do this, we can, I can feel it all the way there. And obviously everything is connected and I can feel it pulling on my knee, which is repairing itself um, slowly but surely. But I can feel that there. So we've got to make sure we get in here as well, yeah? Yeah, saving yourself for Jezza, like... <laughs> Best friend, best friend. Who hasn't named their phone roller yet? Huh? That's rude. That's rude. It's your best friend. Right, so I'm putting. Can I? How do you? How do I do this? Oh yeah, I forgot what I'm doing. So I want to get this bit on that bit as much as possible. I can't remember how to do it. Now I feel like a dimmy. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. I'm just stop talking a minute. Huh? What am I doing? What am I doing? I can't remember what to do it! This is so weird. I spend too much time talking. Huh? Oh yeah. <laughs> I'm so glad this is happening on live. That is amazing. So, um, <laughs> put it that way. <coughs> Not um, this way. Not this way. That way. Right. I'm going to put it. I'm gonna put my leg here like this. You see that? And I'm just gonna do that. Jesus, Vic. Yeah, think of a name. <laughs> Woo! And do you know what I tell my kids though? Yeah, 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 yeah. It's it's great to have. Only thing is it's pink. But the thing is, yeah. Is that because you're wondering about having pink for boys? Pink used to be the colour for boys. And blue used to be the colour for girls. Pink was for boys because it was apparently fiery and passionate. And they can't have girls being fiery and passionate now, can they? Victorians didn't want that. Girls are supposed to be demure. You know? So blue, which is supposed to be calm, was for girls. My boys, both of them, Apart from the fact that both of my boys were always mistaken for girls when they were babies. And then as soon as I actually had a girl, everyone was like, oh, isn't he handsome? <laughs> Whatever. Um, my boys loved red and pink. They had so many pink clothes and red trainers. Jaden, my eldest, at school he was known as the boy with the red trainers. <laughs> but at least you could pick him out in the crowd, you know? They have a thing that pink is for girls and they don't want anything. Okay, so in that case, you need to show them, because your boys love history, and that is how they seem to really connect with historical reasonings for things and information. So it's a really quick Google. 
think that'll do. All right, uh, Mrs. Wedge. It's a quick Google. Um, you can even just put pink for boys, blue for girls, marketing, or something like that. It's probably someone like um, Marks and Spencers that made the um, change. It was probably something like Marks and Spencers when they decided that that's what they wanted to do and, and then they did it. And now, when you go into a shop, clothes shop, it's so frustrating. There's rows and rows and rows and rows of pinky, fluffy, pinky, pickle, pickle for girls. And then you go to the boys section and it's like one aisle and it's blue, gray and green. What? Absolute bollocks. So me and my boys, we just go to the, um, to the colorful section and they picked what they bloody wanted to wear. Because not dictated to my children what they're supposed to wear. Are you mad? Grey, blue and green. Oh, and brown. Apparently boys love brown. Yeah, because they're muddy. Whatever. So yeah, show your boys the, um, the history of this stupid stuff. Because what it is, is they just get an idea and it's all advertising. Advertising in the media has a lot to uh, answer for when it comes to us having biases. Yeah, yeah that's all it is. Um, right, I'm doing my back now, but I'm not ever going to roll the low, my lower back. No. Don't do that. Um, I'm focusing on this area here. Oh. I like to put my hand behind my head. It helps support me. And also it means that the roller can actually get to these bits here. Because of the position of my arms. Then the, this bit here, oh god, I love that bit. I can't remember. Look at that. Mommy. See? Do you want to play leather? Are you want to play leather? Of course you are. for my brain and my eyes. It is good for your brain and stuff. Have you had water? Have you had your fruit? You haven't had your fruit? Well, it's up to you. You can just fast until you're ready to eat. Go play leather, do it. Adios. Bye. Bye. <laughs> right. Music? Um, this one. <sighs> I've got these affirmation cards. I got them a while ago and this was mine today. Oh look, it's backwards. Ooh, it says I am patient. <laughs> Which is something I definitely need. Ay caramba! I don't even know what language that is, but it's just something you say. <laughs> Like the way Mikhail says Kwanzaa, I've got all these random words in different languages that I just stick into my um, sentences and the kids look at me like, I get the general gist of what he's saying. Right, arms. Yeah. Careful of injury. Can you imagine if you injure yourself today at Chesarojo and then you can't Chesarojo all week? It's the Portuguese, <laughs> it's Portuguese Spanish, that makes no sense, right? <laughs> like, oh damn. Okay, cool, 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 cool. So it's um, one of them Latin language things, okay. Okay, cool, I'm gonna keep that in my vernacular. <laughs> like, lots of people say, oi, babe. <laughs> I'm like, cursing in Hebrew and shit. So I'm getting, by twisting my arm as I roll, I'm covering quite a big area, do you know what I mean? Definitely getting into here, then twisting my arm as I roll, and I can get quite far around. Um, activated some muscles I haven't actually used in a while <laughs> um, yeah which I'm like really 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 happy about so this there's, there's little tiny muscles everywhere 
and they all want to get involved. They're like, what about me? What about me? So the punching, different, mus different muscles to the press-ups and all that stuff where you're planking and holding your body weight up. So yeah, we're gonna get back into punching at some point. However, let's just look after the family, right? And make sure nobody gets hurt. Oh, oh good, that's amazing. I've, um, what time is it? You see how you can easy spend an hour foam rolling? It's so easy to do. And it's not a waste of your time. It's not a waste of your time at all. It is important to get your heart rate and your breathing rate to a state where you find it difficult to talk um, at least every day. Look after your heart. It is like, um, we do have several brains in our bodies, right? Several senses of intelligence. So you have your brain brain, which is in your head, but that doesn't even develop before your gut. Your gut um, develops first anyway. You've got like three brains. One, two, three. You have several brains and they all need to at least know what the other ones are doing. They need to be connected. They need to pass information to each other um, efficiently. <clears throat> so yeah, that's what I was talking about. So you need to get your heart rate up so that you, you find it a bit difficult to talk. Not necessarily being a mouth breather, but that's what I'm saying about your state of your body. Try and do that every day, even if it's just for a little while. Do yourself a solid. Ooh. And I know that Ches and Rojo is going to do that. <laughs> oh my God. I'm really quite excited. I am really quite excited. It's been a whole flipping month. That's crazy. And even though we've only been like together about six months or something, it feels like a massive gap, doesn't it? It just feels like, yo, something's missing. Um, hopefully I help fill that gap a little bit. Whew. But yeah, I can't wait to see what he's gonna play as well. I think the word foam rolled, I think. Yeah. I mean, I could literally foam roll for the whole time, but I do want to do some lubrication of the joints, get that synovial fluid Moving. Where's my mat? Oh, yeah. oh, I just put this down so I just really don't make my carpet really like sweaty feet smelly because ain't nobody got time for that. Um, right. As usual, I'm going to start with my shoulders and I'm going to twist like this. Oh, a wonky. Oh, well, well. You know the drill. You know the drill. You actually do. Those of you who have been with me for the past month, while well, we've been mourning the loss of Trezor, um, but replacing it with other love, know the drill. We are alternating twisting our palms to the ceiling and getting that wonderful twist in our shoulders. Kind of trying to not to dance at the same time, but it's so hard. Natural people will love to move with the rhythm. It's just something we're good at. Okay, because we're tapped in. Ah, oh, getting warm now. I'm gonna put my thumbs on my shoulders, touch my elbows together, make big circles as I can. Yeah, that feels nice. And then I'm gonna do those massive um, circles with my shoulders. This is cool, this is good. I'm only wincing just because the shoulder is a bit not simpatico. <laughs> but it's getting there. I didn't used to be able to do this before. Not with any great um, success anyway. Now I'm gonna put my hands behind my head. I'm not flaring my rib cage. I'm engaging my core. And I'm pointing my elbows to the back of the room. And then I'm going to make a, a Y shape. And then I'm going to put them behind my head again. And you will feel, I can feel, my shoulders warming up. It's nice. There are so many ways our shoulders can move. 
and we need to be cognizant of that and make sure we look after it. And I'm going to take them up my back, still pointing my elbows to the back of the room. I'm going to make it upside down. Why? <sighs> All right. Halfway through, see? You haven't got long. We have not got long to get ready. An hour seems like a long time. It's not. It's not. Ooh. Take it all the way down up your back. Take it all the way up behind your head. One more. All right. And am I right? This area is like, oh yeah. I always get messed up with Jamie's playlist. It's time to get the heck off my SoundCloud. We're doing this. Again, not flying the ribcage. Give me a collar gauge. Pushing your hands back. Coming down. And then pushing your palms to the back of the room. Trying to keep your arms, your elbows at 90. This is another wonderful range of movement. And I need to be careful with it. This is one of the ones, this is one of the ranges of movement that my shoulders didn't have when I injured myself. Throwing the ball. Dumb. Oh, wait. Last one, yeah? Do a bit of battered swimming. Have your, I don't know if any of you are swimmers. Backstroke I always hated because I always crashed into the wall. <laughs> but you're grazing your arm past your ear and you are having your palm faced outwards as if you are actually entering the water with your hands backstroke. This was part of our training. Even when we weren't in the water, we had to do this. Of course, you're doing that then. But it doesn't matter. All we're trying to do right now is warm up our shoulders. Front ways. No. No dancing. I'm trying to tell myself, don't do a single dance into cheddar. Don't waste a single thing. And then we're going to pull our arms back and hug ourselves. Oh, that was almost a dance. And in any way, this is like a warm up for your hips <laughs> at the same time, which we're gonna need. We're gonna need our hips. We're gonna need. We're gonna need our hips. Am I right? 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 So I'm gonna do hip circles. One, two, three. I'm gonna turn you down so don't get into no troubles. Feet kind of like just wider than shoulder width. One, two, three, one way. One, two, three, the other way. If you can keep your head still, that's cool because it's really only your hips because I'm feeling it all around here when I do that. That is nice, that is nice. I still wanna get some down dog, cat cow, look at your bum, child's pose, all that stuff done. And I also want to start out a bit more on my hamstrings. I'm not going to do any jumping jacks, probably. I'll probably do that when Chesa comes on. Oh yeah, that's my plan actually. When Chesa comes on, I'm going to start doing the, start warming up. I'm going to move down to my knees. Circles, one, two, three, reset, one, two, three. <laughs> excited.com <sighs> remember in the future um, I remember where I live and it looks brilliant and I remember when you lot came to visit and I think I think I found the picture of the one I'm gonna get in Africa I think I found it <sighs> we went through this my husband and I have been going through some, some stuff Figuring stuff out, plans for this, plans for that. And I think we hit on something yesterday and we're like, oh no, really? Okay, we're set, we're good. So yeah, certain plans have moved forward. 
So what I'm gonna do now is one of these. We've done these, I'm gonna do these. So first of all, you could do this. There's loads of different things you can do, right? Pull it to yourself, but without compromising your alignment. I'm not going like this, and I'm not doing this. <laughs> I'm just bringing it up and hugging it to me. Depend, just wherever you are is wherever you are, but you're hugging it to you without compromising your alignment. When I say alignment, it means like, imagine someone's grabbed you by the top of your head and pulling you up. That's what I mean. We have a natural curve to our spines and that's fine. It's not supposed to be dead straight. Ooh. And then I'm gonna do hip circles like this. I'm gonna tap the floor behind me, bring it back forward. Tap the floor behind me, bring it back forward. Keep grab it. Why not? It's all right. Next song's coming on. Ooh, you can feel the same as the same way you were working your shoulders. Just by doing these things, is the same way that your hips are now warming up, and that whole joint is like, oh yeah, let's get into it. Right? Cool. Your body's so happy with you right now. Other side. Let's go. And do you have a side that's better than the other side? We're not symmetrical at all. <laughs> when it comes to the visual, when it comes to the internals, your boobs are definitely not the same size. A couple more, I think. Ooh, guard up. We might as well do this with our guard up in preparation when we get back to the punching. <laughs> One day we'll get back to the punching. Just not sure when that will be. Um, we're gonna get into a Buddha right now. So what I want to do though, I'm gonna go down into Buddha and then I'm gonna step back to a plank and do me some child's pose. How, how is your Buddha? How is your squat right now? I'm just gonna straighten this up. It's doing my head in. <clears throat> Something like that. I like having that reminder. On Instagram, it looks the right way around, but I had to write it backwards. <sighs> right. How is your squat? Are your heels on the floor? Can you even see my heels? But whatever, my heels are on the floor, and I'm just using my elbows to push my legs out, to push my knees out, just gently. Excellent, yay! Good on you, sis. A hair now. It just takes consistency and persistence and practice, right? That's all. Okay, I'm gonna put my hands down. I'm gonna step back to cut and I'm gonna take my socks off. <laughs> and I'm gonna slip and slide all over the place and hurt myself again, like a div. Where was I? Step back to plank. Mm. In fact, I might think I'm gonna lower myself down first. It feels right. Gentle push-up. I avoided these for a while, but now I'm good. You just have to listen to your body and strengthen what needs to be strengthened, rest what needs to be rested, stretch what needs to be stretched. Back into child's pose. Oh, have a lovely stretch forward. Get your fingertips forward. I always do this in child's pose. It just gives my hips an extra wiggle. I'm going to go back into down dog and I'm going to step forward with one leg. Just one leg, that runnage lunge thing and twist up because that is fabulous fam. Just um, have a second and get in touch with your body and feel all the things that are being stretched right now. All the things that are under tension, all the things that are being stretched, all the things that are warming up all the points of pressure. If you need to take pressure off, you can go down to a knee. It's not even a big deal. You just need to listen to your body. Mm. Okay. I'm gonna lower down again. Push myself up again. Mm. I know there's gonna be a lot of um, 
whining, grinding type moves. <laughs> so I need to sort my back and my hips out. Because <laughs> I know what I'm like. I know what I'm like when I'm chiseled. <sighs> down dog. And then I'm going to do it, put my knees down. This feels great. Oh, this is fantastic. Put, put my knees down. My knees are under my hips. My hands are underneath my shoulders. And I'm going to look at my butt. On the exhale. I'm just gonna pause this music. I'm going to go into cat and cow. Okay, yeah, cow feels good to me today. Return to neutral, back into child pose, and I'm going to get up. So down dog, I'm going to do a runner's lunge again. <sighs> Step into a lunge. My back leg is straight and I'm twisting up. It already feels different from when I first did this. This is fantastic. Swap sides. Fabulosio. Get in. How much time we got left? 20 minutes, is that all? Woo! <laughs> it's almost time, yo. <laughs> and I'm gonna step up into a Buddha, actually. Okay, this is good, this is good, this is good. <sighs> what else can we get into? Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Okay, I'm gonna lay on my back. And I'm gonna hug my knees. And I'm going to do rotations with my knees. I'm going to let them go and then I'm going to hug them to me and let them go and hug them to me. I'm going to do it a few times one way and then I'm going to do it the other way. So you tell me, where do you feel this warming up right now? Isn't that interesting? Isn't that interesting? Our bodies are such complicated, amazing machines. They're utterly fascinating. <sighs> I've switched to the other way. It looks so simple, right? But it's doing so many things. What's it doing in your body right now? <laughs> I love it. Oh, and relax that. It's actually deep. I'm going to stay on my back. I'm going to lay in a crucifix. I'm going to lift one leg up. I'm going to take the opposite hand. Take that knee to the floor and look at the opposite arm. Why you? That is twisting. Oh, that. Beautifully. Ooh, baby. I actually haven't done this for about three days. I can tell. I like this so much. <clears throat> I'm gonna take it to the other side. So we release it, put it down, lift up the other leg, take the opposite hand and guide it to the flow. Oy. If you do have any twinges, yeah, and it's just kind of, it's not pain, it's uncomfortable. Just breathe into it. And it goes away. A couple more breaths. I'm gonna really 
release it slowly. Oh, I'm going to do happy baby. <laughs> yes, I am. Gonna, I'm going to face this way. I don't, it's not necessary to. Yeah. I want to get into some happy baby. <sighs> happy Vicky, you mean? Damn. And uh, rocking from side to side. It's going to massage my back. It's so beautiful. This is fantastic. And these are all the bits that I know when I chesa, um, I need to look after my back, my hips, and my knees. My arms are all right. I mean, I've never done push-ups in a chesa for a long session. Oh, handstands or anything. So yeah, my back, my hips, and my knees. My ankles are all right, you know. My ankles are all right. I do a decent amount of standing and strengthening for them. So my ankles are good. However, I think um, I'm gonna get into some um, ankle massage. If it could foam roll your ankles, that would be amazing, a bit awkward. So I'm just gonna massage them before Chesa. Um, I'm gonna get my kids involved, yay! So they haven't actually heard much Mikel music um, for about a month now. Cause I was kind of trying to save it. Oh, that's amazing, that actually feels amazing. I was trying to save Mikkel's music for it to be, um, I'm going to go back to foam rolling. What else could I do? I feel good. I feel, I feel ready. I feel, re oh, do you know what I'm going to do? I want to do some um, pelvic tilts because they were actually really helping me. So all I'm doing is, <laughs> it looks weird, but I'm laying on the floor. And I'm pushing my pelvis into the floor and then releasing it. That's all I'm doing. But yeah, this is particularly good for anyone who has anterior pelvic tilt. Anterior pelvic tilt is when you just have quite a natural, natural. What I mean is you're not pushing your butt out and pushing your chest out. Your body does that anyway. So we're trying to um, release the hamstrings, we're trying to strengthen the core and gradually use the core strength to pull that back into some kind of um, comfortable, more natural alignment, right? So yeah, we'll just do that for a bit. <laughs> yeah, good, excellent, yes, you see? So I'm gonna put my head down and I'm gonna push my pelvis into the floor a few times, just really gently and release it. I'm not going to take the full hour. This looks really weird, doesn't it, while I'm having a conversation? <laughs> oh, well. Um, I don't want to take the full hour because I want to go, I want to have a chance to have, go to the toilet and get a drink before Chess and Rojo starts, you know what I mean? <laughs> um, so, yeah. But isn't it wonderful to have all these things to look forward to? Gee, your life's so boring. <sighs> But I do feel blessed though, because I, I found everything I wanted, so. And I keep finding more and more things. Oh, and sis, when you get your... Sorry, I keep having to pause like I'm trying to push out a fart or something. <laughs> oh yeah, we've got to practice our Portuguese. Um. I'm going to do it on my back as well. Um, so you do the opposite, so you're pushing your the lower back into the floor. Because people with uh, anterior pelvic tilt do have a natural curves then when they lay down and you can actually put your hand underneath it. So I'm going to purposefully push, because I do have a little one, I do have a little one, um, but I've been working on it. On the exhale. I'm kind of pushing my belly button into the floor to push my lower back into the floor. It's a little much like you do when you're doing um, cat. Your belly button pressure pushes down and you tilt, uh, your pelvis tilts upwards. Even if you have no answer, even if you don't have any pelvic tilt problems of any kind, This is still good practice to do. 
tiny, tiny little muscles getting involved here. It's also a chance to do some Kegels at the same time if you wanted. I am. Hashtag Kegels, yeah. Yeah. How long we got now? 10 minutes, see? See? Hmm. Easy peasy. It's so easy to look after your body. <laughs> and it should be your first priority. Shouldn't looking after your body, shouldn't looking after your spirit be first priority, huh? 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 The answer is yes. Of course it should be first priority. Um, hold up. Of course it should be first priority. Just like Mr. Nobles. Oh, right. Well, I think I'm done. I think I'm just going to have a bit more of a... Do you know that's weird? So look. So now, I still feel the need to roll my butt again. Because it's done something. It's done something. It's like, what are you doing? What are you working up to? What's happening, Vix? I'll tell you what's happening. A 10 a.m. thing. 10 a.m. Cheswick Rocco thing. I'm going to do my hamstrings again. I pay particular attention to my hamstrings because sciatica has been an issue in my life and I've had to deal with it. Oh my God, being pregnant with, and having sciatica, I literally had to get someone to come and punch my butt to help release it. I'm not even kidding. It used to be Jaden's job when I was pregnant with the others. Um, when I was pregnant with him, I just had to do it myself. I didn't really, I didn't know anything about how to look after my body. I was always into fitness and whatever, but I didn't understand my body. Didn't understand my body at all. Didn't even understand what was going on while I was pregnant. Ugh. <sighs> well, all of my children are gonna be experts on the female body and the male body. Cause that is just sense, right? Ooh, my calves are getting ready for cheddar! I'm gonna shop about that. No, I'm not. Ha! Ooh, yes! Um, we've got our toxins. I'm gonna do my thighs again. <laughs> um, we've got our toxins talk this evening. We're gonna be talking about, uh, a bit more about skincare, nail polish, hair dyes. All these things that um, contain uh, dangerous stuff, basically. All of these products contain dangerous things. <clears throat> and if any of you have uh, managed to catch that documentary that's on YouTube, The Human Experiment, it was made a while ago. I think it was 2000 and... It's 14? 2014? 2017? I can't remember. Um, but still, the information there is still quite valid. The information, um, they, they, they are talking about the United States. However, there are lots of parallels with the UK and Europe. Europe is a bit better at regulating these things. Um, but that's hardly the point. Because the UK still allows things that um, haven't been proven safe and things that are still killing us slowly. Killing us softly with their shit. Killing us softly with chemicals in our hair dye and skin creams. Killing us softly with their crap. No, 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 no. I will make my own skincare. I will not buy your crap. Grand Rising, Yusuf Shalabu, three, five, five. <laughs> yeah, that's how easy it is I go off on one. Damn it, damn it, damn it. Oh my God, I found a new bit. 
That particular bit there, I must have missed. Okay, can't have that, can't have that, can't have that. So, while I figure out what else needs foam rolling on my body, where is it? Where is it? Ah, there it is. <laughs> um, please do continue to do as much research. <laughs> Thank you, sis. <laughs> um, let's continue doing our own research because people can tell you stuff and you can take it if you want, but one, it's got to be relevant to your own life and two, is it true? We get told so many things, like someone can just post some shit on Instagram and because it's been shared a hundred times, we take it as gospel. But do your own research, please. Be self-taught as much as possible. Be self-taught as much as possible. None of my kids are gonna have GCSEs. My eldest has gone to college, you know, I mean GCSEs. They're like, you got any GCSEs? He's like, no. And they're like, um. Okay, just come, come anyway. Yeah, no, of course. Because the way they work, they get money, so they want to have as many students and people enrolling as possible. It's for their benefit. Colleges have a lot of, they have a high attrition rate because, well, there's lots of reasons they have a high attrition rate. Um, it depends on the area and the demographic that's using the um, college. But, um, there's a lot of disillusioned teenagers out there. I speak to my teenager a lot. And um, he gives me an, an, an eye-opening, like a view into their world. It's not cool. It's not a cool world. They, they literally have, they have a thing where I'm more depressed than you. No, I'm more depressed than you. No, but I cut myself. I'm more depressed than you. Yeah, but do you cut your legs and your arms? Because I'm literally more depressed than you. Like, what? What? Self-harming wasn't even a thing when I was a teenager. I had never heard of it. But now, it's like a badge of honor. Can you imagine? Yeah, 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 exactly. It's not cool to even smile in public. I mean, I had a resting bitch face my teenage years, but that's because there was like a hell of people trying to beat me up and I was just trying to look like, come on then, if you try it, yeah, I'll f*** you up, yeah. Don't you try it, yeah. Pick on someone that looks happy, yeah. <clears throat> but these lot, it's, um, yeah. And then you've got the generation coming up underneath them, slightly younger than your average 16, 14 year old. You've got the 11 and 12 year olds girls anyway and there's social media is full of pictures like this the pouty lips and the finger thing what are you doing what are you doing and literally the life is about likes mm. they have no idea where they're going so we have got to show somebody something of kai <laughs> yeah, so talking about teenagers, my son's playlist has come on again. <sighs> the stuff they talk about. Okay, when I was a teenager, songs were talking about bitches and hoes. They were talking about bitches and hoes, and they're talking about I'm gonna massage my ankles <sighs> on my wrists. Um, yeah, it's not cool. It's not cool, and. It's just because of lack of, lack of direction, uh, lack of uh, actual role models even to look at. So what they're looking at now, obviously this is not all, this is a, a, just a, a large portion of that teenage demographic. They're, cause we idolized famous people. Hi, come in. And rappers and musicians and whatever. Where is it? It's in there. 
No, 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 it's in the, it's in the other room, in that big plastic box. It's doggy feeding time. Good boy, thank you, darling. Yeah, we idolise rappers and everything, and but to be honest, personally, I cost time. I, I was one of those that always listened to the beat and the chorus and hardly ever knew what the words were, because I'm not good at like rapping and stuff, so I could never follow it if it was a song. I, I could learn the words and sing it. But they were talking about some rubbish stuff, man. And well, it depends on who you're listening to, but still, even when um, a rapper brought out something that was quite, you know, conscious and to fight the power, the next song would be about bitches and hoes and stuff. <laughs> it's just very confusing. And it's not any better for these lot. It's not any better for these lot. There's a rapper called Diamonds on my D-I-C-K, that's his name. And then they're idolizing the ones that kill themselves. Oh. <laughs> they basically, there's all these um, artists and they tour and they burn themselves out being creative, get no support, are idolized, but followed and surrounded by sycophants and their fans um, that don't really, you know, they don't really know them. So they're, they're so, they're lonely people and they're surrounded by all these sycophants that groupy people encouraged to do all these things and they, they're like performing monkeys and then they OD and die. <sighs> we've, got to, we've got to stem that tide. We have got to break these cycles that are continuing to happen. It's just happening with like a different uh, uh, vernacular because they're a different generation. It's not just not bitches and hoes anymore. But it is bitches and hoes, actually. I've heard bitches and hoes and is rapping. <sighs> anyway. Anyway. It's all right. It's all right. We can do this. We got this. We got this. Right? Yeah, we got this. So I'm not, I wasn't trying to bring us down or anything, but it's fine. Even if I do, it will gonna come back up. Because <laughs> in a couple of minutes time, we've got something amazing about to drop. I'm going to get off though because I need a wee and I need to prepare myself. <laughs> I feel like I should dress up for the occasion. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, they talk about pain and killing the pain. Yes, they're in so much pain. Like the conversations I've had with my teenager. I was like, okay, this is serious and we need to talk about this and we need to talk about this seriously and we need to get this sorted because... Um, it's like a disease, so, and it's an epidemic as well. Anyway, my fault. I brought that. I brought that up. Bygones. Sorry. Apologies. How do you say sorry? I'm sorry <laughs> in Swahili. How do you say that in anything? Yeah, we'll um, we'll we'll we'll, we'll sort it out. Especially the women, the mothers. You know, the source of everything. Yeah, we can sort it out. It's cool. We've got we've got to just provide new role models, and then that's why teenagers are my favourite people because they're being really really ignored. Um, but I want them to know that they are loved and they they are being thought about. If it's just not with, yeah, sorry in Swahili, I don't know. Can you look it up on you? <laughs> Do you want <laughs> Like, I apologise, I'm sorry, my sympathies, you know, because it doesn't necessarily translate. But yeah, love heals all, but they don't feel loved. They don't love themselves and they don't feel loved. <sighs> it's not even their parents' fault, because their parents didn't feel loved either. They're literally just repeating a cycle, and this is what this particular cycle looks like for these type of teenagers in this 2020. So anyway, actually, that makes me really motivated. We've got 20 seconds to go and have a quick wee. Get hydrated and I'll see you soon. Oh, so I'm assuming you say pulley.